to the next part of the lecture this is unguided media so this lecture is all about unguided media now uh, i have already told you that unguided media is the media where you cannot see any medium of communication that means the communication is done via air so now what is specially there in the air uh, with the help of which you can do the communication so uh, like there are many uh, like um, me medias like it can be a radio signal it can be a microwave it can be infrared so lot of unguided unguided media is present in the air so suppose if there is no dedicated path in between two communicating ends then that type of communication medium is called unguided media that i have already told you so there are some advantages of using this method uh, so what are those advantages that i had already told you you don't have to uh, spend huge amount of money and efforts in establishing a net of wires in an area covering thousands of kilometers that means there is no worry of installing wires no worry of geographic conditions like or whatever type of terrains are there okay it might be hills it might be sea it might be river like no need to like spread wires no need to install wires so that is one very big advantage of unguided media this type of media is not affected by geographical constraints so you know some of the unguided media discussed in this chapter are radio transmission microwave and infrared so let us move to radio transmission so a radio transmission radio waves travel through wireless medium and can easily penetrate into buildings so in olden days like when we used to listen to cricket commentary so that time uh, like we used to have a transistor or a radio set okay using that uh, like we could easily listen to the cricket commentaries the cricket match that is happening somewhere like uh, in other continent So that uh, that we can we could easily listen to using radio transmission okay so radio waves so radio waves were very important that time nowadays also uh, like radio waves are important for many things okay like uh, i'll give you some examples like um, uh, like yeah, you might have seen uh, like in bluetooth and all like all the uh, their radio signals are used okay so uh, when you are sitting in one room okay that is surrounded by different uh, like say walls and all doors and all there also radio signal will penetrate so it can penetrate thick walls also it can penetrate into buildings okay this is the very uh, good advantage of using radio signal now radio signal can work in various frequencies it can work in very low frequency it can work in very low frequency it can work in low frequency that is called lf it can work in medium frequency so this type of radio waves that is vlf very low frequency low frequency lf and medium frequency they travel through ground <coughs> and the way they travel through the ground is like a bouncing ball when you throw a ball you might have seen its uh, path like uh, it goes towards its destination okay by bouncing like uh, so a, uh, you can see the trajectory or a path of a bouncing ball Uh, that way the radio waves travels okay these waves can easily penetrate through obstacles on the way that i told you like uh, if you keep a radio set inside a building okay you will be able to listen to the commentary very easily okay uh, but uh, these radio waves are sometimes subject to attenuation in air okay so if you increase the frequency of radio wave it will follow a straight line now one more important thing that you have to remember regarding radio waves are that radio waves are absorbed by water droplets so during rainy season if we listen to a cricket match commentary which uses this radio waves for broadcasting we receive a bad signal why because the radio waves are absorbed by the water droplets so now there are two more variations of radio waves these are high frequency radio waves 
एंड वेरी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी रेडियो वेव्स एच एफ एंड वी एच एफ सो एच एफ एंड वी एंड वी एफ मीन्स हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड वेरी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी रेडियो वेव्स ट्रेवल थ्रू ट्रेवल थ्रू आइनोस्फेयर दैट मीन्स दे विल गो टूवर्ड्स आइनोस्फेयर फर्स्ट एंड आइनोस्फेयर विल रिफ्लेक्ट बैक दैट रेडियो वेव टूवर्ड्स अर्थ सो इफ यू if uh, you see that uh, if anything travels like a bouncing ball obviously it will cover very less distance and if it travels via ionosphere then obviously it will cover a uh, comparatively very large distance larger distance okay so when we are inside a city or a small area then uh, the first three variations of radio waves are okay vlf lf and mf that means very low frequency low frequency and medium frequency radio waves but when we want to transmit radio waves to a larger distance then this method will not work then we need uh, advanced variations of radio waves that are high frequency radio waves and very high frequency radio waves okay and how this travels we uh, transmit it towards the ionosphere i know from, from there it will reflected back and uh, it will uh, go to uh, towards earth go back towards earth and uh, obviously it can travel a comparatively larger distance so, uh, so nowadays you might have seen that uh, whatever is going on in delhi via radio waves you can easily get of fm radio and all you might have heard there this type of frequencies are used high frequency and very high frequency but when we, you are uh, listening to say akashvani shiliguri you are uh, staying here only okay then uh, like previous three variations will work there very easily mm. okay so now uh, these waves the high frequency waves are very easily attenuated by electromagnetic signals so the waves that we had uh, talked earlier that were easily absorbed by water droplets here in case of hf and vhf these are easily attenuated attenuated means uh, the original line of transmission is distorted okay that means disturbed by external interference and what is the external interference here the electromagnetic signals uh, so one uh, very uh, important thing that you have to remember here is that you can use omnidirectional antennas what are omnidirectional antennas because uh, see uh, when we were small like when we were uh, like small kids that time in a, each and every house we had radio sets okay so they are uh, sometimes we might have uh, like you might have seen in some radio sets you might have seen an antenna that is omnidirectional that means it can receive signals from all the directional okay and in akashvani some suppose sometimes you go to some akashvani there you will see an, an antenna that can transmit signal to all the direction so at the center of the city that type of antenna was like located and that that was capable of transmitting signal to all the directionals that's why that type of antenna was called omnidirectional antenna similarly the receiving antennas were also omnidirectional it was not like television previous uh, earlier day television antenna okay uh, it was omnidirectional so omnidirectional antennas are those antennas that are used to transmit waves radio waves okay in all the directions so no need to align the sending and receiving antennas in case of uh, like uh, radio transmission so very important topic like so what we have covered here in this topic that means that radio uh, waves travel through wireless medium and can easily penetrate into buildings then there are mainly five variations of radio waves first three variations are vlf lf and mf that means very low frequency uh, low frequency and medium frequency radio waves and they travel like a bouncing ball and uh, they are they easily penetrate obstacles okay and they are subject to attenuation in air and these are easily absorbed by water droplets and there are some variations also that is hf and vhf they travel towards ionosphere get reflected back from ionosphere and cover a larger distance as compared to uh, the first three variations and they are easily attenuated by electromagnetic signals and uh, in a radio waves omnidirectional antennas were used omnidirectional antennas are those antennas that are capable of uh, transmitting and receiving radio signals 
from all the direction and one more important thing I, I have told you that in Bluetooth devices radio signals are used so this is a very important topic so I think to another type of unguided media that is called microwave so frequency of the electromagnetic waves greater than 100 megahertz generates another type of waves that is called microwave and microwaves travel in straight line so because of this property the sending and receiving antennas need to be properly aligned so you might have seen this type of waves are attenuated by sunlight so you might have seen where microwave signals are used for transmission of uh, data uh, or uh, like uh, information there you might have seen uh, during the sunny days the signals get distorted why is this because the signals are attenuated by sunlight <coughs> so neighboring waves do not affect each other so different sets of senders and receivers can be placed adjacent to each other if we are using microwaves so when the sender and receivers are placed at long distance the waves are affected by curvature of the earth so because this travel in a straight line so there will be a problem there so to solve this problem you can use repeaters so repeaters will be able to maintain the straight line of propagation because you know the microwaves travel in a straight line so we need many repeaters okay because uh, if earth is a car earth is a curve and we if we place two antennas far away then it won't be able to or make like curve path so there we may place repeaters now another thing is that microwave is subject to refraction in air so fraction of waves may propagate through different parts and this process is called multipath fading okay so let us move to another type of unguided media that we will be discussing here in this lecture that is infrared rays so you might have noticed the remote controls okay of various electromagnetic devices okay have infrared rays so these devices use infrared red rays to send signals so these rays cannot penetrate through obstacles and use for short distance communication so that is why for uh, tv remote washing machine remote and all uh, like uh, or whatever what type or whatever is the type of device the appliances you use in your homes the remote uh, remote controls use infrared rays there because it is used for short distance communication and in between your remote and your device if you stand you your uh, remote will not work why because infrared rays are not capable of penetrating like uh, um, obstacles okay so this thing you have to keep in mind sometimes you can also see the use of these rays in security system like bur burglars alarms etc okay uh, so these are some of the guided media that we have covered here in this lecture so these are uh, very helpful uh, okay if you want to know something about like uh, networking devices because you know like networking devices need to get connected and for connection we need the medium so uh, different types of mediums may be used like wired medium or uh, like unwired medium so wireless medium so wired medium are called guided medium and unwired medium are called unguided medium okay so i hope this lecture will help you in understanding the basic concepts of networking okay so i um, will uh, be giving you some uh, assignment questions uh, like uh, to uh, like uh, to rev uh, revise or enhance your this thing knowledge so you'll be able to find uh, many things there also in the practice exercises so for uh, uh, today's topic we'll discuss this much only so uh, we'll move in the next lecture we'll move to the next topic so thank you very much for listening to this lecture so if you have any doubt you can uh, uh, send us mails also so uh, we hope we'll be able to like uh, clarify your mails as much as possible so for uh, 
uh, today's lecture. Thank you very much.